So the Meteos at the second generation program was established uh, in the late uh, 90s uh, to provide the continuity of the uh, operational service from the geostationary ring to the national med services uh, and uh, to the users uh, of uh, meteorological uh, and climatology data uh, in view of the needs uh, expected for the period beyond the year 2000. Uh, it was uh, established uh, comprising uh, eventually uh, a set of four satellites the development uh, of the first uh, satellite uh, was uh, part uh, of the ISA program. Uh, all, the are, uh, all the other elements, uh, including uh, the uh, procurement uh, of all the recurrent uh, satellites, uh, are part uh, of the UMETSAT program. Hmm? The concept uh, uh, upon which uh, the system is built uh, is essentially around uh, the main instrument, uh, which is a SEVIRI. It is a, a, a flexible concept uh, using uh, the spinning of a satellite. It is capable of scanning uh, the full Earth in 15 minutes. It can also scan uh, smaller portions in a reduced time. Uh, this has led, uh, obviously, to uh, the implementation of the mission as it happened after uh, the launch of MSG-2 with uh, one satellite uh, which is uh, performing the full disk uh, imagery mission and uh, another satellite which is uh, running uh, in the uh, so-called rapid scan mode, providing the rapid scan service, which means uh, as implemented every five minutes, uh, it covers uh, one third uh, of, uh, of a visible uh, portion of the disk. The ground segment uh, is uh, the providing the capability to control the command of the satellite, uh, but also uh, to process uh, the data and uh, to develop uh, the uh, meteorological products. In that respect, uh, we have a concept of an uh, application ground segment which uh, not only includes uh, the uh, meteorological products established here at the UMETSAT headquarters, uh, but also the network of uh, satellite application facilities uh, um, uh, connecting uh, European uh, uh, centers, uh, national, national med services and uh, scientific uh, institutions uh, to further develop uh, applications and products of a mission. The satellites uh, in orbit uh, in this moment, uh, in operations uh, of the Meteosat second generation uh, R2, uh, MSG1, which uh, was uh, renamed uh, Meteosat 8, uh, was launched uh, on the 28th uh, of August 2002, uh, uh, started the operational services uh, in uh, 2004, uh, and it is uh, actually uh, uh, performing the rapid scan service at a 9.5 east longitude position. Uh, MSG2 was launched uh, on the 21st of uh, December uh, 2005. Uh, it became uh, uh, in orbit, was renamed Meteosat 9, uh, and it is actually at uh, zero longitude position performing the full uh, imaging uh, uh, disk service. Uh, MSG3 is the one we are preparing now. Uh, MSG3 um, uh, will be uh, after uh, launch uh, and after the DIOP phase uh, located uh, uh, for uh, the in-orbit commissioning uh, at a position around uh, 3.4 west uh, and uh, following uh, the in-orbit commissioning the plan uh, is to bring it uh, to zero uh, longitude position. MSG3 uh, is particularly important uh, because uh, uh, of the continuity and because uh, of the preparation for the future. It is uh, the satellite which is uh, going uh, to provide the transition from uh, MSG to the future generation, which is uh, MTG the Meteosat third generation. Meteosat third generation is the big challenge we are having in front of us. The program has been approved both at UMETSAT and at ESA. 
uh, is uh, supposed to take uh, uh, over the operational uh, services uh, starting uh, in the period 2018-2020 uh, uh, and uh, in parallel uh, having uh, the continuation uh, of uh, MSG covering at that point in time uh, the rapid scan service uh, such that uh, in total we can optimize uh, the duration of the operational services uh, to the users. The target is uh, through uh, MSG uh, plus uh, MTG uh, to go uh, beyond uh, the 20 years uh, of operational services uh, which are uh, uh, actually uh, part uh, of the MTG uh, program as approved.